battle rapping, we battle scrapping, attacking anybody that thinks this cat from Michigan won't get it cracking. Still ripping. She here at your boy Fifth in the his house. Bring another great edition of Black Out from the Box. Cause you know it's hot. Bringing the real deal. 9v9 domination with the scorpion. Who uses the scorpion? Now I know you probably look at these guys who make these charts about these fucking weapons, but to me honestly. I don't fucking listen to none of that shit. You know, when to when somebody does like tells you which weapons are good and they don't they won't give you any gameplay to back it up. I don't listen to none of their shit. I, to me, to be honest with you, I mean the only other person that I think that's kind of accurate on the weapons or mostly accurate, I would say mostly, is uh, Xbox Ahoy, who actually literally is the only person that goes out and tests weapons and shows video proof of it. Now, he might not do the combinations of the perks. You know, he don't go into that detail, but he just basically covers the gist of the weapon. Whereas, I'm going to give you live actuality of in-game play with the weapon. You know, everybody has their own little thing. Now, right here is a perfect example of why I'm going to start bitching about the SMG class. I'm a proponent that... There is a counterweight in the game. If you want to call your game Call of Duty Black Ops Special Edition Assault Game or as Black Ops Assault, just fucking do that. Don't have the SMGs fucking poopy can in the game. You know, 20 bullets in the clip and drop off uh, for bullet damage is ridiculous. I mean, what's the point of using the Scorpion when all I have to do is use a Spaz? I mean, all I gotta do is use a Spaz. That's it. The Scorpion has no chance against the Spaz. None! None! I mean, this, the, the, the Spaz is like ridiculously a SMG killer. You know, I'd rather use an SMG, I'd rather use a Spaz any day. But I make these videos for you guys to show you that listen I'm going to the reason I make these videos is like for one to show the developers listen I mean you, your games gonna get funneled down to this and then come like that's if you go back and play Modern Warfare 2 people are already they know what works noob tubes and one man army it's funneled down to that I mean it's been a, two years or a year or whatever it is that's why um um, Call of Duty games don't last and see people can't make the change you know you always have those friends you know those friends that that when a new game comes out they'll still be playing Rainbow Six like 10 years later like fucking wake up dude I mean it's okay to like try something new and then you get people in the game once they, they get stuck with the game that's all that that's all they're known for I mean they can't do anything else so, I mean, you gotta be able to change on the fly. And look at that. Look at that battle that I just lost right there. You know what? The fucking MPL or Assault Rifle, I would have never lost that battle. Ever. Ever. You know? But, uh, that's the way it goes down. You know? Uh, and, uh, it's sad. It's really sad with this gun. I mean, the Scorpion... I don't even know why the fucking Scorpion is in the game, to be honest with you. Is there any... Uh, how many other SMGs do, can you think of that are ten times better than uh the scorpion i mean i would love to have like how about the mp5 from uh call of duty 4 in there how about this how about instead of giving us a fucking map pack give us an smg map pack or an smg pack or you know a fucking weapons pack how about that you know that's what i'm talking about you know when you when they talk about mortal Kombat, and i was listening to ed boone in his interview when the game comes out, and this is like for Street Fighter, take a fucking lesson. Listen very carefully to what I'm saying. When you got guns, and you, you know, your game is out, and it has some type of shelf life, and I understand you have to make money, and Activision has to keep producing, have to make the donuts, you gotta get paid, that's what they're there to do. But, if you want to like, if you're a true, I mean, I, you know what, I'm gonna say that Treyarch probably loves this franchise more than the original Infinity Ward company. You know, people don't understand, and I, I know I cut off from my thought and I go on to the next one, but I'll get back to the Mortal Kombat analogy. But um, I think in the minds of the developers at Infinity Ward, they're like, fuck it. 
If you were on the forums at Infinity Ward, people were like, put a nuke in, put this in, put this in, put this in. They're like, fucking listen to everybody, and they put everything in the game. And literally, you can't do that, or that's the monstrosity that you get. You had to police the game somewhat. And it's like, Treyarch, even though it's not their baby, you could tell that they listened to the community, took care of things. JD20's probably the best community manager that actually get shit done you know out of all the ones that i've seen and the other issue is like uh you know <laughs> you have to you, you have to like have a fine balance in your game you can't have fucking the wild wild west out there and just be like hey whatever happens or you're gonna lead yourself into patching you know after the first patch every patch on microsoft servers costs fifty thousand dollars so every time Treyarch patches a game, it's costing them fifty grand, fifty thousand dollars. I know it's a drop in a bucket to them, eighteen million copies at sixty dollars. I don't even know what that is. I mean, it's a lot of money, not including merchandising and everything else. But to go back to my Mortal Kombat analogy and gun packs, you know, if you have guns like the FAMAS and other guns that are are, are unbalanced and the AK-74U and shit like that. You know, I don't give a damn. Have it already pre-built into the package of, of the game and have a gun release. So that way, instead of patching the guns, have a DLC, instead of it costing you 50 grand, have a DLC, I mean, I'm trying to be practical. Have a DLC, drop the guns that counterbalance this other guns. Like... Fuck it, who cares? Who cares how many guns you have in the game? Really doesn't matter. I mean, my idea was, is that, and then probably this is what Bungie and Activision are doing, and my idea, and this was my idea two years ago when I played Diablo. I got the idea from Diablo 2, is have a, have a uh, in, in-game store, a trading post, and have a, um, an emulator, an engine emulator, where you know if you find weapons in the single player and you could take the, the weapons in the single player and then you can bring them to the trade post in the emulator and let's say you put in things that you found in the game in single player and you got like you developed your own gun like it came out with some conglomeration and it came up with the gun name like you know how people name their kids like their first and second name and they come up with a surname of a gun and you put it in there, and then it would be like, plus this, plus that. And then, shit, that would be incredible. Incredible. Be like, you'd have a gun that nobody else has. Fuck, you could sell that gun. Trade that gun on on, uh, on, on eBay. I mean, it would just bring so much more depth to the game. It would be sick. And I think that's what's, hap what's going to happen with Bungie and Activision. The next game is going to be like that. I've said that in the past, and I know that's what's going to happen. But to go back to Call of Duty in a Modern Warfare series... To be honest with you, you know, you just need you just need a you need a gun pack DLC to balance out the guns that are shitty and get some shelf life on there. But will they do that? Probably not, because every eight fucking months they got a new they got a new COD game coming out. Is there a point of getting mad? No, I'm just a critic, uh, pub star gamer who's just telling you what I don't like about the game. Will they listen? Fucking probably not. I mean, Treyarch, I'm. I mean, it's gone beyond their limitations of helping and doing what they can for the game because most developers, when you see the demo or the beta, that's it. You know, they're on to the next project. They cannot take the studio's time to be working. Because you think about it. It's $50,000 50, for a patch. Then you have a portion of your team that's working on fixing the game that you have to pay those people and their time is being spent on that rather than working on the next installment of the game so I mean shit's crazy you know they got a lot into it I mean we got the easy part we get to play the game and have fun and to be honest with you I mean you've already heard my rant on the, on the SMGs they're fucking they're weak as fuck look at that bullshit that's bullshit right there I fucking knifed that guy so anyways I'm excited for Mortal Kombat. Um, I uh, rented the Black Ops 
for the PS3. I'm gonna for five days, so I'm gonna play that and give you some gameplay as I promised. And just you know, to be honest, I just all they have to do is just give every gun the same tweak a little bit. Not these big drop offs like. The fucking scorpion is total poop. The Uzi's total poop. Those guns ain't supposed to be like that. Don't do that to them. Anyways, it's your boy Fist. Till next time, hey! Rock them, sock them, break them down like popping and locking and shocking, cocking and clocking, block them, block them, block them. Why choose to stay true to dudes that hate you? Choose to blaze you. Pledge allegiance to kill a KZU. No battle rapping, we battle scrapping, attacking anybody that thinks this cat from Michigan won't be.